All right. Happy Friday. Welcome to Time Warp Art. How is everybody? Looking good. Looks like a nice day outside. Supposed to get 103. That's no fun. <laughs> but oh well, I'm inside in air conditioning. We're good. <laughs> Morning, Kim, Diane, Lynn, Sherry, Tanya, and guests. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Jean might know. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. I have to ask her. Or if you can remember to ask her for me if she comes in. I don't know if she has appointments today or what. I don't remember what she said. Yeah, well, it is August. But think about this. August is, is a third over with. Yay. <laughs> that much closer to fall. Okay, so today uh, we're going to make a 12 by 12 page into a pocket fold-out page without cutting. Ah, without cutting, yes. Um, let's see. While we're waiting for uh, people to come in, yes, isn't that gorgeous? Butterfly Garden. By Pink Paisley. Gorgeous paper. This is the front sheet. And it's really beautiful. Whee. I've got my camera on a new tripod this morning. Um, hopefully I won't bump into this one. And I don't have any fear that it's going to fall off the desk. So <laughs> that's good. <laughs> one step <laughs> at a <the> time. <laughs> yes, cut the paper. <laughs> Um, not really origami, but, um, uh, you could call it that. We've all been into that lately. The origami thing, making minis from folding. Uh, but there's no cutting in this one, so it's not kirigami. <laughs> but it's going to be a pocket page, and, um, I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. I thought I might show you guys what I started, um, what, uh, Dee, Dee has inspired me to do so far. Um. Oh no, what did I do with it? <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have started a magazine journal inspired by Dee Dee last week. I got the cover covered and I have begun, I put paper on this page too. Uh, I have begun the whiting out process with the gesso and gone back to the front and I've done one background so far just one <laughs> with the sprays the dilution sprays and some stencils that's all I've got so far and then doing the gesso thing but you work in the front you work in the back you work in the front you work in the back yeah it's working well so that's good so I've gotten some gessoing done but I thought I'd show you guys what I had started so far um, and I did this last night. I almost didn't want to go to bed, but um, you know how that goes. And then I woke up first thing this morning and I was thinking about the, this. <laughs> so anyway, I want to show you guys that. So that's it. that has a dedicated tray. Like I said in, in Dee Dee's stream, I um, have a dedicated tray for that journal and it's going to stay on the on the work surface. Okay, um, let me see what else did I want to show you. Um, think here for a second. I showed you. I haven't made any progress in the Kathy Orta area um, so far. I have other th other things I had to do um, and take care of. So I haven't gotten any any of my Kathy Orta projects done. Um, oh, Kim. Your painting is looking wonderful. I saw that. It's gorgeous. What are you talking about? Oh, the show last night. Oh, okay. I popped in for a second, but I was working, so I, I didn't want to take time out from my arting 
to pay too much attention. Um, so I'll have to I'll have to watch the recording and see what went on. But um, and it wasn't Marion, so I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> And I won't repeat that. Okay. <laughs> Do we cut some pages out? Um, of the magazine. No, I didn't. I did not cut any pages out. So okay, so let's let's get on with the project this morning. Let me show you my prototype, which is um kind of messed up. So um We'll just now. This one is using the K and Company Papers Life's Journey, and I was going to do it out of that. Uh, this is going to be for my mom, by the way. Um, she has a postcard collection that I really didn't know about <laughs> until recently, um, and so I was wanted to make a book for her to put them in, so she could still, you know, uh, take them out and look at them and read them. Um, so what I've done is. Um, I've covered chipboard covers, all right? Heavy chipboard. Now, what the page looks like is this. Now, I haven't covered this yet, so don't don't pay any attention to that. All right. So here's what the page looks like. All right. So have a fold out. You've got a postcard pocket here. You've got one here. You've got one here, and you've got one on this side. So that's the page. Okay. It holds four postcards, and we go through the book, and they change their location. I guess you could say. So here's another. This just slips in. It's like a tension um, tension pocket, okay, like that. And then there's this one. This is just blanks. Uh, this will also hold five by seven collage. So I I do five by seven collages, and so it will also hold the five by seven collages. Now, the small pocket will not hold the five by sevens. So you have to make that decision. You know, if that's what you're going to do, you have to make that decision on your own. Okay. So the layout. Let me take these out because they're a little distracting. Now that you've seen that. Let me take the postcards out. It's a wee bit distracting from the flipping and turning and whatnot going on here. Take out all the distraction. Okay, I think I got them. All right, so my prototype is a wee bit messed up because my. Uh, what I've done with the triangle, I forgot to leave room for the binding when I put the triangle in. So my um, wires are giving me a little trouble. Now these are the one inch uh, wires for the cinch, although I have a bind it all. The holes are the same spacing, I found out. The, the wires are essentially the same. Um, and I couldn't find any one inch bind it all coils, and so I had to get the cinch ones. And the, but this is the one inch. Now the one inch I think will be fine, but if you look, let me fold this back in. If you look at the um, the journal this way, you can see that it's really thick down here and not so much up here. So it's really thick down here because I have all of my triangle pockets in the binding. Now, when I did this, it was like 2 a.m. Uh, I was going great guns. I was singing along with the music and not paying attention to the gutters. All right, so what I should have done was move it over so it would not be caught in the binding. Okay, so I think the one inch ones will be fine. This particular one, I'm going to uh, have to um, get some larger coils and see if I can um, fix that problem because the back cover does not want to stay on because the coil will not stay shut. And it got caught in my ring. Oh, that was interesting. I was having all kinds of trouble with this little guy. Okay, so basic layout of the page. All right, opens up, 
tension pocket here, triangle pocket here. That's one, two, three, four. So each one has four potential pockets. Okay? All right, now, the layout, when you put them in your book, you can do them any way you like. This one is, they're folded to the outside. This one's folded to the inside. See how that works. So you can do them any way that you like when you put it together. Okay? So, let me show you how to fold the basic page. Back down. Over there. Okay. And look at the chat. And no questions. All right. Good. Okay. So, this is the paper collection we're using. Butterfly Garden from Pink Paisley. And I think she liked this paper better. Anyway. <laughs> um, I've already done my covers. They're going to go like this. That's my covers. So what I've done, I did not wrap these covers. I wrapped the other ones, but I did not wrap these covers. Um, I stuck them down and sanded all the edges, which I still have to do the ink and everything. But my covers are done, so there they are, and they're cut uh, a half inch bigger. Now, the page size is six by seven and a half. That's the page size, okay? And as you can see, I have cut the covers a half inch larger so that you have a quarter inch all the way around. Okay? All right. And you can bind these with rings if you want to. You don't have to use the bind at all. You can do it with rings if you like. Or you can do, you know, whatever. It, it really doesn't matter. Whatever your preference is to binding. But this is the finished page size. And it does hold postcards. It'll hold a 4x6 photo with a mat behind it. It also will hold a 5 by 7. So you have lots of options with this size. Okay. So, basic page. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make really good use of your Martha Stewart scoreboard. Okay, let me set my papers up here so I can get to them. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to use your scoreboard. All right, so your basic page, and I'm going to do this one, do it fill it really fast the first time, and then um, I'll, I'll slow down and, and let you do it. All right, so you start with a 12 by 12, or it works with 8 by 8, it works with 6 by 6. You'll see that in a minute. All right, so what you're going to do is put your 12 by 12 down on your scoreboard, making sure your, your two edges are, are flush against the board. Then you're going to fold your page leaning up against the board so that you get it nice and, and smooth and you're going to score it with the, I mean, it's, uh, smooth it with the bone folder. Okay? So that's your first fold. You decide which way is up. You're going to fold it sideways. Okay? So that's your top. Okay. You're going to open it up. You're going to score at four and a half. That gets folded up like this. Okay, you're going to open that back up. Then here is the teeny tiniest bit of measuring, and all it is is from the bottom edge, you're going to measure two and a quarter inches, and you're going to make a little tick mark right there. And you're also going to do that on this side. Two and a quarter inches and make a little tick mark. Okay? That's all the measuring you need. That's it. It's easy. I promise. It's really, really easy. Alright? Now you're going to score. And I like to use this little guy. Um, this is a paper cutter, but it fits in a notebook. But I never use it as a paper cutter. I always use it as a scoreboard. So you're going to line up your tick marks. So your center is here. Your tick mark is here. You're going to put this down and you're going to score. You're going to do the same thing on this side. Your center 
and pivot it till you find so you find your marks score okay with your bone fold or your whatever tool you have to score with okay that's what you're going to do with that all right so then that gets folded okay so in actuality this page goes like this right so this is folded this way open it up score it four and a half fold that up open that back up you want to make a tick mark in the center two and a quarter inches up two and a quarter inches up score score those get folded in this gets folded up this gets folded back and there's your page okay now there's a question if you don't have a little tool like this to you know extra thing to score with just line it up on your scoreboard um, sometimes I like to make a um, I haven't done this one yet but you can make a dark line with a sharpie um, down one of your like at your six inch mark for instance if you use six inches a lot make a six inch mark so you just line that up on that dark line and do your score that's how you do it on your scoreboard. Morning, Kathy. Morning, Eileen. Who else is here? Hi, Julie. Hi, Linda. Hi, Gina. <laughs> Everybody's coming in now. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> Did I miss anybody? <laughs> okay. All right. So, anyway, this is your basic page. This is using a 12 by 12. All right. If you use an 8 by 8, this is what you get. This is four by six, okay? If you use a six inch, this is what you get. This or this will hold ATCs. And I've already got my binding punched and I've got a little um, dip out of the top. So there's a, this has a potential for three pockets if you're doing it this way. So I put uh, some decorative tape down across the bottom to hold it closed. I've punched my uh, with my bind at all. So this is going to be my edge to hold that shut. So this will hold this shut. This is will hold this shut over here. ATC, ATC, and you have a pocket in the center, but you can put another one. So if you have a, a nice collection of ATCs, then you can do this and you'll have uh, a nice little carry-all for your ATCs. Okay, so those are the sizes. Okay, we're working on postcard size today, postcards and five by seven. So we're going to be working with the twelve by twelve. Now, that's your basic page, and I got this off of YouTube from. And let me get her name for you. I marked it for myself. Now what did I do with it? Hold on just a second. I can find it. I'm move some windows out of the way for a minute. Okay. Her name on YouTube is <laughs> Lovely Scrappin. L U V L E E Scrappin with no G. So L U V L E E S C R A P P I N on YouTube. February 6th is where you want to look. Okay, she's called it a folded pocket page for mini album. It's very clever folding. I don't know where she got it from or if it's her original idea that's great um, but it's a great idea it inspired me to take it further so what we do now is we're going to open this out like so and we're going to score on one inch so we're going to score an inch on this side
turn it over and fold it in this way. And you want to do that piece. And it's a little picky, so you know you want to do your creases nice and ink your edges and all that. Now what this does, this gives you, here is your edge for your binding which will hold this pocket shut. The fold holds this pocket shut and you will apply glue here and here. Glue it down and that gives you your tension pocket right there. Okay? Now this strip right here has great potential for decoration. At this point right here where it's thickest and this little flap still sticks up, you can glue that down if you want to, but I plan to stick embellishments on all of these little guys. And I have some uh, lace punches that I want to uh, put strips in. So you tuck the strip in and glue it down and then you put your embellishment on top. Okay. So I don't know how far we're going to get with this today, so I didn't pull any embellishments out yet, so I'll, I'll have to do that in a little while. But let's do all of the folding first, and um, then we'll see how far we get. All right, so my covers are done. So there's my covers. Okay, here's my covers. All done. I didn't uh, wrap. I stuck down and sanded the edges, but I still have those to ink. And I have to ink all the pages, of course. But let's let's go ahead and do uh, another page. Now, this paper comes. Let's see, it has 24 papers in it. So you get two of each one. So you can do front and back of each one. Okay. So the way you place it down. Depends on which way is your inside. So if you put it this way, then that is going to be what shows on top. And of course, if you do it vice versa, the other way. Okay, so we're going to fold it this way. Now we're going to change which side that we put this fold on. We're also going to change the way it folds. On some of the pages, it folds in. So we're going to do some of those too. Now. You can do however many you want. You can have them facing each other. You can do them all the same. You can mix them up. It really doesn't doesn't matter. So you can have it this way. If you fold it the other direction, well, let's do, let's just do that one because I've got this page right here. So let's just do that one. All right, we're going to fold it this same page. We're going to flip it over to the other side. We still want the top facing up. So we're going to use our scoreboard to help us fold so make sure we're down at the bottom over on the side butt it up against there press you're done okay you want to score it four and a half oh bump my finger start again four and a half and go ahead and Fold that up. You don't have to crease that just yet. Go ahead and fold that up. Now the next thing you want to do, since you've got your center, is you're going to go up your two and a quarter on each side. So you get your little ruler and you're going to make a two and a quarter inch mark on both sides. Two and a quarter, you want right there. And you can put a little pencil mark in the center since that's not going to show. All right? And you're going to score on the diagonal, get your center, pivot your paper until you get it just right. Do the score and do the other side. Center, find your mark, pivot till you get them right, pivot one, then pivot the other, set it down and score. Okay, and like I said, you can make a black mark down your six inch line, and you can do the same thing by pivoting on the scoreboard, just connecting that black line. Okay, simple to do. All right, now you're going to fold up on those lines. 
like so. Fold up on this one, like so. Fold your pocket area up. Fold that. Make it nice. Now we'll fold this one to the inside. And then we'll put our corners on the outside, okay? So, there's your basic page, right? Now, since your pockets are on the inside, we want to score so the flap goes away from those two pockets. So we're going to put that on the inch. So on one inch. And you have to go carefully because it's very thick. Yeah, it might be easier to open that up like so. And score it like that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's open it up and score it. I think that's going to be a little bit easier in the long run. All right, and then we're going to fold it this way so that your extra fold is around the corner from your pockets. Okay? And you want to score that down. Okay, so here is a different page. All right, so this one here. Fold it back up. So this page goes this way. Opens up that way. This is where your binding goes. This one, here's where your binding goes. But the pockets are on the inside. And your tension pocket is on the outside. Now, on the flip side of these, we'll be adding uh, some triangle pockets. But let's get all the basic pages folded, all right? So, deciding how you want to put it together, pick all your pages, deciding which way you want to go, inside, outside, whatever. Okay, this one is the last page. Make sure you've got it right side up. Top is where you want it. Fold it again in half using the scoreboard. Open it up. Score it four and a half. Fold that lightly. Now we're going to do our two and a quarter. And we'll take mark there. Little tick mark there, one in the center so you can see it. How's the light? Let's fix the light. I think I'm going to need a lamp. Let's turn the lamp on. I think that's a little bit better. Okay, there we go. All right, now um, we're going to score again. Pivot your tick marks until you get it lined up right. And score. Do that again. And I don't intend to have each, you know, there's two sides to this paper, so I'm going to fold each one a little differently because I don't intend to have them side by side. Okay, you're going to fold this up. And fold this up. Now, one thing, if you have your if your postcards are going to have heavy embellishments on them, you may want to cut this triangle off because when you put your postcards into the pocket, what's going to happen is your embellishments are going to get caught on that little lip. So if you're going to have embellishments, you may want to go ahead and cut that off. It's not going to hurt anything. It will still work the same. You'll just not have anything to get caught on if you're going to have embellishments. But my mom has regular postcards with no embellishing. So this pocket, this fold, will make it easier for her to get them in. You know, when she puts them back in, it'll be easier for her to get them in. So if you just got regular postcards or regular pictures, you don't need to worry about cutting that off. So that's a different step. Okay. All right. So go ahead and reinforce 
this one. And I think I'm going to wait to do the rest of the corners. I'm going to go ahead and do all the basic pages, and then I'll see where I am. Because I need to lay them out and see what's what. All right, so I've done this side of this paper, so I'm going to turn it over, making sure I've got right side up. Fold it again. Open it up. Score at four and a half. Go ahead and do that fold. Gonna make my two and a quarter marks. My mark in the center. Two and a quarter over here. Do my scoring. Pivot till I get it right. Do the other side. Okay, fold up the triangle. Or trim the triangle, depending on what you're doing. Fold that, reinforce the creases. Now, I think I'm going to start by folding all of my pages this way because I can always reverse it. All right, so just do that lightly. Okay, so there's those two, and this is the basic, your basic fold. I'm not doing any of the flaps just yet. All right, now I've got this page. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Gorgeous. Love it. Love it, love it. Now I saw this paper when it first came out last year. I think it was last year. And loved it, but never saw it locally. Until last month. Okay, make your marks. So I'm going to make the inside mark like so. Two and a quarter over here. Two and a quarter over here. And these little rulers are really nice. They're um, you can get them at Michaels or Hobby Lobby. But the edge is exactly at one. It's really precise and it's one inch wide. I love these little things. They're they're really cool. I don't know if you can see them. Well, no, I guess you can't see the markings. <laughs> see if that helps. Yeah, now you can see. See, it's real precise. So I use these for lots of things. Well, we're not going to be gluing yet. We're not gluing yet. We're going to get all the basic folds done first. Okay, got my marks. Now I need the bump folder. All right, so one, two, and I'm going to put ten pages in this one. That's because she has a lot of postcards. So there's that one, that side. All right, now this side, what's going to happen is when you fold up the pockets, it's going to be upside down. So I'm going to do it the other way. So pay attention to your paper so that when you fold your pockets, it's going to be right side up. This particular side does not happen up or down. That is a, you know, it doesn't really matter. So just make sure that when you fold up, it's going to be right side up. Pay attention to your paper, people. Watch it when it's talking to you. Okay. 
score at four and a half. Let me fold that up. Make your center tick mark. Make your two and a quarter. And it's not brain surgery. It doesn't have to be perfect. Close enough is good enough. Make sure to hold your paper down. Don't let it slip on you. Pivot around. Get it right. So at this point, I want to have 10 pages in my book. So there are six designs in this paper. So one of the designs front and back is the front and back covers. Okay. And I'm going to do it again. This is lovely paper. It has butterflies and birds. Reminds me of that book. I think it was Francis Hodges, uh, The Secret Garden. Score at four and a half. You don't have to fold it at this point, but I like to just because it's there. <laughs> This one's going to be a little hard to see. Let's get a little darker since I can't see it. Have to look for the shiny part. And of course, you can do this assembly line fashion. You can fold them all in half and score at four and a half first, lay them all in a stack, and then you can do all your two and a quarter measuring, and then you can do your, oops, I think I slipped, then you can do your scoring all at once, however you want to do it, whatever floats well, your boat, people. <laughs> Feel for the fold on that paper. It's hard to see. Where's the fold? There it is. <laughs> a lot of pattern going on, but isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. Beautiful paper. Oh my. All right, now we do the reverse side of that one. Let's see. When we go up, what have we got? We've got. Oh, she's upside down. Okay, so. See what I want to do because that's going to be she's going to be upside down as well. So one of them's going to have to be upside down. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. What to do? This side doesn't really matter because all the text and everything is going every which way. So that side really doesn't matter. So since you see what the design is doing on this side. So this will be at the top, this will be at the bottom, so I don't think I want her upside down. So if I fold this side up, I think that's what I want to do, I want to fold this side up, I think. Think about that for a second. Yeah, because she'd be upside down anyway. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go this way. My stack over there. Oops. Yeah, that's what I need. <laughs> oh, I was grabbing the pencils. Four and a half. Oh, it didn't go very straight. There we go. Move that up. 
that's what I want to do. Okay, good. Two and a quarter. Center. Just hard. Easier to see it. Do it that way. off her head, but oh well. <laughs> At least everything else is right side up. <laughs> okay, these things get a little unruly. Okay, I think I've got two more to do. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we're, we're good with that one. Yeah, you could at this point, you could go ahead and do your four and a half and then fold it. It really doesn't matter. that way and then you fold it that way. That you know, that's kind of nice. A little different. So you can get a little rhythm going. And yes, I have got the shakes today. I have eaten, but I'm gonna take a snack break here shortly. But today is just one of those days where I will do nose entangles because <laughs> I've got the shakes. Just part of life now. Some days are better than others. Oh, I could do zentangles in a sketchbook or something, but not any gifts or anything, so I have to pay attention to that. Okay, that side, and one more. Now we're going to do this way. Let's see. We're, oh, no, I just did that. Okay, we're going the other way. And, oh, that's going to be upside down. But everything is every which way. Let's see. How is this side looking? I think I like that better than this way. All right, so that will be that way, and this will be this way. And good to go. Ooh, it's hard to pick up. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Do your scoring or cutting it off, whichever way you want to do it. But if you've got something smooth, I would think it would be simpler to get it back into the pocket with the fold. If it bothers you, you could always stick those down. Just take a piece of, um, you can take a glue dot, um, you know, um, ATG, whatever, just to stick those down if you want to. Really doesn't matter. Okay, now let's take a look at what we've got here. All the pages. And the first two that I did. All right, so what I need to decide now is which pockets are going to go on the inside. I need to decide the sequence, how I want them folded, and then I can do the tension flap. Okay. All right, let's see. I want to separate 
the papers. I don't want them side by side, so I'm going to separate the same papers into two piles. First of all, this is just my thought process here. No right or wrong way to decide what you're going to do. Alright, so... Do I want them like in this order twice? Yeah, I think she'd like them. Alright, so we can do them in this order, like so. Now I need to decide, so this will be the first page. The first page, I want it to open the tension over here. Okay, so this page, don't slide too far there, folks. Okay, I want the tension flap on this side, so I'm going to open that up and score on one inch. And it doesn't matter which way you do it, hold it back up. And I want it to open this way with my tension flap on the inside. So we're doing it this way. And there is no way to get that perfectly straight. The weight of the paper is just not doing it. I'm not going to do it. So don't even worry about it because you're going to put embellishments there. So don't worry about it. Alright, so there's page one. It's going to go this way. Page two is going to go beside it. I want it to open. Let me see how I want it to open. I want it to open this way. I've got the second page opening this way. So I want my tension on this end. Alright. So let me set page one to the side. I've got my tension where I want it on the side. So I'm going to open it up with it that way. So I've got it in my hand. So I don't lose track of which side I'm going on. Fold it back up. Fold it this way. So the tension, the tension pocket folds away from the diagonal pockets. Okay, always. That's my rule. Always. All right. So page one, page two. Page three, I want the tension pocket here because I want them to open up side by side like that. So I want the tension pocket on this side. So I'm going to open it and score it over here. One inch. And one inch was arbitrary. It's just easier to remember one inch. With it. Fold it. All right. Here's the next page. They will open like so. Like this. Now my next one. Go like that. And I think I'm going to turn this one inside out like so. so I'm turn this one inside out. It's going to open like this. And I want, I think I want it tension mark on this side. Let me get a little clip. I need to hold these guys together. So I just put a little clip there to hold them together. Alright, so I want it on this side. Score it the one inch. Hold it back up. Turn it over. Hold it in. Whoops, the other way. <laughs> Alright, so page opens like so. I'll go like this. And I'm going to clamp that one down. Next page. This one's going to go like this. That's perfect. That's just what I wanted that to do. Works out just perfect. How about that? Julio. Next one. Okay, this one I want to go. I want the two to open. So I think what I want to do with this one is 
leave it like this. And we want it to open over here. So I'm going to score it on this side. Open that up. And if you be consistent with the way you uh, treat each page, less likely to make a mistake. I hope. Okay, so there's that page. Put that in. This one, I want the tension on this side because I want them to open double. And, oops, I'm going to look at the chat in just a second. Over, fold it in. Making the tension pocket. All right, there's that page. Flipping that over. I need another clip. A little thick for these little guys. There we go. This one, I want to do this. So I want the tension on this side. Open it up. Did I bump the camera? I'm sorry. <laughs> I hit the tripod. Put the packet of pages. page. Oh, two more pages. All right, so this one, I want it to open a double, so I want my tension over here. Okay. That page. And I've got one more, and I think it's already folded, and I think I may like it just like it is. Don't think I'm going to have to flip it. Let's see. This one like that. Flip it open to the back. Perfect. All right. There is my whole set. Now, let me see if I can thumb through and show you guys what I've got going on here. I don't know if the little clamps will hold. <laughs> like go flying off. All right. So first page, open like this. Here's your tension pocket. And I think what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to glue my tension pockets. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to do next. Let me get a paper clamp. Hold on. Oh, tension pocket. Okay, that's this point. That's this right here. This is a tension pocket. Um, where's my other? Okay. So here's the other book I did. So what the tension pocket is, is this point here where your postcard, well, not two, but that's okay. Your postcard or your photo on a mat will just go right under there and see the, ten if the tension of the paper holds it in. But that's the tension pocket. Okay? Right. <laughs> that's right. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of these little guys because they're making me nervous. They're going to fly off. And believe me, they're going to fly off and leave me. All right, so I'm going to see if I can. Okay, paper clamps are not going to work, so I got these big clips instead. Oh, I can't do that left-handed. Nope, hands are not strong enough. Not happening. So I think these big ones will hold. Now I'm not sure if that's gonna. I'm not going to be able to open them. Okay, that's not going to work. But I need to keep them in order. So I think what I'm going to do is clip half of them with one, 
and set them over there. So that's the back. And this one I'm going to plant one at a time. All right. So what I want to do is take my Scotch Quick Dry or whatever adhesive you want to use and just put a little just a little line of adhesive, not too much. You don't want any squeeze out. All right? And you're just going to hold that for a few seconds. Okay. So far so good. All right. So that's one. Now I'm going to turn that over and put it you know, I need a small box or something to hold these things. That's what I need. I just don't have one. Oh, wait a minute. I have an idea. <laughs> I have an empty baby wipe box that was holding my snacks. So now it is going to hold my pages. So page one is going to sit there. Ha. Ah. All right. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Those will sit and be good. We're good to go. All right, so I'm going to continue gluing. You don't need much, and you don't want any overflow. And I'm doing it, you know, I'm putting it about a quarter of an inch in. Because I, I really don't want it to, you know, overflow either direction. So. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That says Liverpool. That's funny. <laughs> All right, so there is page two. Page three. Well, you can, you know, number these in pencil if you want to. You can erase it, but, you know. <laughs> you have a little box? It helps. A snack. Yes, it is 11. I'm going to go ahead and glue these and then I'm going to going to stop so they can dry. Next one is on the outside. It just has a little bit of variation to which way they open. So it's kind of interactive and cool. Sorry, you guys have to watch me glue, but, um, you know, there have been worse things. <laughs> At least it's not paint. <laughs> okay, now we've got the other side. can tell I'm going to have to take the bone folder to these things again. Pretty stiff. This is nice thick cardstock weight paper. They don't mess around. <laughs> and you know I just had a thought probably should have inked the edges before I glued these down. But I wasn't thinking about that. <clears throat> That's okay. We'll figure it out. And you notice instead of stopping and doing that, I'm just continuing to glue. <laughs> I want them all to look the same, so I'm not going to stop and do it now. Whatever solution I find. I'm more than halfway through, so you know. I want to be consistent in what it looks like. So however it However it turns out, whatever that solution is going to be, that's fine. It'll be consistent. It's one of those design variations.
I have to keep this baby white box for just this reason. Holds the pages in order. <laughs> as many, many albums as I've been making lately. That would be nice. Last one, then we'll have a snack. So far, there's no glue on the scoreboard. Okay. Now, we will let those dry and I will have a snack. Has anybody got any questions so far? Everybody's still here. <laughs> Somebody say something in the chat. It's not moving. Hello. <laughs> Is my chat stuck? Uh oh. Okay. Hmm. Okay, my chat is stuck. Wow. My chat's been stuck for like five minutes. Okay, that's weird. Okay, that's really strange. Wow. I'm missing like five minutes of chat. Whoa. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that is odd. Hi, Barb. Hi, Raven. Tina. chat got stuck. That is strange. Well, I have my eyes chat up, so that's what that's how come I noticed. And my regular chat, chat just ceased to work. It's back now. Oh, no, it's not. It's still messed up. Oh, wow, that is weird. Okay, so I'm going to have to read you guys in ice chat. Hmm. That's going to be a bit of a challenge. Okay. <laughs> So, did anybody have any questions? <laughs> I missed them after like 10.58. My chat stopped. You know what? I think you guys are like in two different... Oh my goodness, I think we have chat split, people. Because... I can see Gina and okay we have chat split folks Gina's in one place you guys are in the other unless you can all see her and I can't because on my pop-out chat I can see Gina in my ice chat I can't see Gina Okay, this is really weird because, okay, I don't know who's here and who isn't. Because <laughs> I see some of you guys in one place and some of you guys in another. Oh, my God. <laughs> here we go again. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I don't know who's where. Oh, gosh. Okay, yeah, because Gina, Gina, too, is who, who I see in my regular chat. But she's not in ice chat, so I don't know what's going on. And Julie, yet yeah, I see Julie, I see Linda, I see Tanya, I see Sherry, I see Eileen, I see Barb, I see Tina, uh, Ketsia, okay, I see Ketsia, Julie,
and gay. Okay, I don't know who that is, but hello. Um, so the, that's, I see an ice chat. Um, do you have ice chat, Gina, too? If you have ice chat, ice chat, because, yeah, you're, you're in one place and everyone else is some, someplace else, apparently. So try ice chat and see. And see, there's Raven. But see, I'm, I'm not, everybody's not showing up in, in uh, one place. That's so weird. I hate when that happens. It's so annoying. And if I didn't have both chats up, I wouldn't know what happened. Oh, that's really odd. Oh, somebody outside is having car trouble. <laughs> Noisy. <laughs> Lydia, you're never sure where you are. <laughs> Now I see Gina in I okay, she's in up in the ice chat now. Everybody see Gina? I see her over here now. Hi Gay, welcome. Okay, good. So we had a chat split there. I don't know what's you know what the deal is. So I'm going to read everything in ice chat because I don't know what happened with the other one. It just stopped. I didn't see Gina until 11.05. <laughs> so I don't know. Don't know what happened. It's very confusing. What? Ustream keeps us on our toes, doesn't it? <laughs> Perrier lemon lime tastes so good, even when it's warm. Okay, snack eaten. Back to work. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave these sitting in here, and I'm going to put the covers in here as well. So here's my covers again. Let me show you the covers one more time. Here's my covers. Those are done. I'll put those at the back. Now we're going to work on the triangle pockets. And this time we're going to put them in the right place. Okay. All right. Here is the tension pocket here. There's a tension pocket here. There's triangle pockets. Now, as you can see, they're in the binding. When I was doing this, I neglected to move them over to allow for the binding. Therefore, I'm having trouble with my binding. So I'm going to have to get bigger wires. The one inch wires I think will work just fine. This one is just fine. This one keeps coming apart. So we're going to make these triangles now. Okay, now I need my paper cutter. Mm -hmm. All right, so won't need the glue anymore, so I'm going to move the glue back in its home in the DD tote. We don't need the pencil and the ruler, so I'm going to remove those. Might need the bone folder. I'm going to leave that. I move the ink because I need to put the paper cutter up here. And right, I'm going to need this, but I have to move it for right now. All right, paper cutter. Move the bones. All right, what we're going to do for the triangle pockets is we're going to cut a four and a half inch square. We're going to score it. Oh, I need Junior too. Uh, what was I saying? We're going to uh, cut a four and a half inch square. We're going to cut, uh, score it and then we're going to cut it at, a, at an angle. And we're going to score it, and that makes it easy. All right, so what I've got is some scraps from my covers. I'm going to start with these. And I'm going to cut four and a half inches, which they're like, so that's, nope, that's not long enough. 
All right, so I'm going to have to go this side. And I'm going to cut it four and a half. Save this for something else. Got my scrap pile going there. All right, and we're going to cut four and a half inch squares. And it's not brain surgery, so you just have to cut four and a half inch squares. And you'll have a piece left for ATC if you want to make an ATC. Okay. So put that in the scrap pile and you can make some ATCs. All right, so I'm just going to cut some squares. And since I have 10 pages, I'm going to need 10 squares. So one on one side, one on the other side. Yeah, that works. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. piece wasn't wide enough. I'm going to get two squares out of this piece. I tried doing four inches. It didn't quite look right. So four and a half looks a little better. Four. This one, I think I'm going to turn it around and go this side. I want the roses. Unfortunately, I have to cut the butterfly. But it's okay. We always have more paper. I want the roses to come out on that side. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get these cut. I didn't have enough time. So it would be best to work on the covers instead. See, that's going to cut that off. That's going to cut that off. I'm going to go ahead and go with this anyway. Okay, let me see how many is that. Two, four, six, eight. I'm going to need two more. That means I need another sheet of paper. So, there's my paper stack here. Choose a one I like. Oh, I like that one. Don't take too much time, just do it. In the scrap pile. This end. And this end. That gives me my 10 triangles. Now I'm going to put the paper cutter away. Well, the big one anyway. Put it down. That scoreboard again. And now on two sides, on two sides, we're going to score it a half inch. So you're going to do your half inch, you rotate it. Whichever way you want to rotate it, because the corner. Uh, that is next to your folds is the corner that's going to stay. So the other is going to get cut. So you decide which way you want it to go. Personal decision on the paper you got. Okay? So just do your, your scoring. Half inch. Rotate it one direction. Half inch. So what we've got and you can't really see it, is <laughs> folds on two sides. Okay, can y'all see that it's folded on two sides? So your scoring are on two adjacent sides. Okay. And just decide which way you want your paper to go. 
which corner you want to show, and you're good to go. Let's do your score. Look at this time, this butterfly. So you can rotate these things around and get a different look all the you know, time. You want the roses. Even though the butterfly is looking down, it's okay. He won't mind. And you can always, if you have a plain pocket, you can always embellish the pocket. Okay. Now we put the scoreboard away. We're done with that. And we're done with that. Get out Junior. Alright, here's Junior. Okay, now. <laughs> what we're going to do is cut Okay, there's a score mark. There's a score mark. We're going to cut diagonally from this point to this point. Okay, everybody got that? Can see it? Okay, what's. Oh, what is up with this chat? Good heavens. We're still split. Yep. We sure are. Oh my goodness. Okay, we still have a chat split, people. Oh man. Um, okay, I can see. <laughs> okay, hold on for a second. Break from the project. Rabbit trail over here to the technical technological part of the program. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I can see <laughs> uh, I can see Canadian Robin. And Crafty Jeanette in the regular chat. I do not see them in <laughs> the ice chat. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. <sighs> yep, this is a split. Yep. Because I can see people in two different places. We have two different chat rooms. Because I have ice chat open and I also have the regular Ustream chat. So I'm seeing people in both places. Yeah, exactly. You can't see Robin or Jeanette either. That's right. They're in regular chat. I can see Tanya. Yes. I can see Barb. Okay, so Barb, Eileen, Gina too, Ketsia, Linda White Holloway, Tina, Raven, Sherry, Tanya, and Julie Topaz are in ice chat. I can see them in my ice chat. All right. I see Canadian Robin, Lynn, Crafty Jeanette. Sherry. I don't know who else. Okay, but I see that those guys in the regular chat. So we've got two chats going on. I'm trying to talk to everybody, okay? So I'm gonna keep up with with two chats. <laughs> this is right. Okay, Ice Chat is a program. It's an IRC program that allows you to uh, link into a chat. It's been around a long time. Uh, I don't know how long Ice Chat has been around, but there have been programs like this for a long time. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, if you <laughs> can, can um, and then there are, are four or five guests that I see in Ice Chat, but I don't know how many guests are in the regular chat. I can't see. All I know is the number of viewers is 24. 
but I don't have 24 in any one of the chats. So I'm going to just try to talk to you guys. And, you know, if you want to log out and try to log back in and get everybody in the same room, that's fine. But um, all of you guys that I can see in ice chat are probably in the right place. Um, Kim, yeah, Kim, you are in the regular chat. <laughs> I can see you, but you're in the regular chat. Yeah, it's really weird. Really, really weird. So I, I don't know what's, you know, I don't know what to do about it. Um, you know, and Kathy is in regular chat. So, you know, like, there's a bu big bunch of you over here, and there's a big bunch of you over there, so I don't know. <laughs> this is weird. Okay, just, you know, everybody keep asking me questions and, and, you know, talking to me, and I'll try to keep up with everybody. It's, oh, man. Yeah. But you can, if you want ice chat, you have to go uh, online. Just Google ice chat, and you'll find the program. It's free. It's easy to do. It's free. So, okay, so what we're going to do, let me get a ruler and show you corner to corner. But we're not doing corner to corner. We are doing fold point to fold point. Okay, so we scored half inch, scored a half inch. So we are cutting above that half inch. So we are not cutting the triangle directly in half. Okay, we are not cutting the triangle directly in half. We are cutting from score line to score line across this way. Okay, everybody got that? I hope. <laughs> yeah, private party. <laughs> Kim said she's there having a private party over there. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know, as long as all of you can, can hear me and see me, we're good. <laughs> They talk to each other? I don't know. <laughs> I can't help you with that. <laughs> okay, so anyway, that's where we're cutting. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And I'm lining up my edges. Just like that. So here's what we end up with. Here's the shape that we end up with. Okay? So you can see that... This is going to get folded back. This is going to get folded back. Okay. Now, what we do with this shape, we're going to trim. I'm going to do one, and then I'm going to do the assembly line thing. So let me get some good scissors. All right. I got some good scissors. Okay. So if it helps you to see, go ahead and do your folds. But you're going to also cut across the point, leaving about the width of your scissors. Okay, if you have bisker scissors or the width of a Timmy ruler. If you have a Timmy ruler, that's that's a good gauge. The width of a Timmy ruler. Okay. But you just want you don't want to leave so much that it's gonna stick out because when these get folded back you see they're gonna miter like that, see? They're gonna miter. That's what you're after. And then you're gonna trim over here you're gonna trim if you point your corner straight down, you're going to just kind of go at that fold point. You just kind of cut straight. Just cut straight down. Okay? And you're going to do the same thing on the other corner. Just from the fold, cut straight down. That way, when you fold it back, it doesn't stick out. Okay? So what we do with these, this is our pocket. We're going to put score tape here, score tape here, and stick them down. Okay, so let me let me grab the score tape and I'll show you where that goes. <laughs> where is it? Do you the quarter inch score tape? And you fold in your folds. And where's the bone folder? Lost it. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and smooth these out. Okay, and you're going to put your score tape on the folds. If you can find the end of your score tape, there it is. So you're just going to put, and this, and you put the score tape after you trim because I don't like wasting score tape. I, I, 
I have learned that I save inches of score tape. If I know I'm going to cut something off, don't put score tape there. <laughs> you know, you just save yourself a little score tape because the inches will add up. Believe me, the inches will add up. So if you're doing something and you put score tape, see, there's, there's more than an inch of score tape right there that's wasted. See, there's a half inch over here. So when you cut off a point and you know you're going to cut it off, don't put score tape there. Okay, just my tip for the day, saving score tape. Okay, let me check on chat. Okay, everybody's okay. <laughs> now, in ice chat, I don't know that I can see... I don't think I can see the cues in ice chat. So, do like you do, Jean. And if you're asking me a question, type in all caps, everybody, okay? If you if because this chat split's driving me crazy. If if you're gonna ask me a question or talk to me, put it in all caps because I can't see the cues in ice chat. I can see a smiley, but I can't see the cues. So if you're gonna ask me a question, do it in all caps. Okay. Because I see Tanya, but there's Q Q Q Q Q. See, I, I can't see I can't see the the blue cue. There's no blue cues. It's just like jet, like just like with Jean, when she uses colloquy. There's no the blue cues don't show up. So yeah, all caps is good. Yeah. Um, yeah, Tanya, see, I can see you in my ice chat. Okay, and now I can see Sherry in my ice chat. She was in the regular chat a while ago. Now she's in my ice chat. <laughs> okay, real weird. <laughs> this is so strange. <laughs> Where are you, Eileen? <laughs> You're in my ice chat, Eileen. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. Anyway, that's what we're going to do with these little pockets. <laughs> but this time, instead of just, instead of sticking them to the edge like I did, bad, we're going to leave, this one's going to go on this side, we're going to leave, and I'm going to get a ruler. I need a half inch line. We're going to go a half an inch and then we're going to stick the pocket down. So we're going to do like, we're going to lay the ruler down and then we're going to put the the pocket right there. So then that will be a pocket, okay? So when we get to that point, that's what we're going to do. Oops, ruler on floor. Hang on. It's clear ruler on a green carpet. Uh oh. Okay, there it is. It was shiny. I saw it. <laughs> that was weird. Okie dokie. Oh, now it has fur camera. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. So, let me see where I'm at here. All right, I'm not cutting yet. So, I'm going to put this page back in here so I'm going to get it out of order. All right. So, now we are going to be cutting our triangle. So, there's one. And these are not in any order right now. I'm just looking where my score lines are. And I'm going to be trimming making sure I've got the right side of the paper that I want. And I'm going to just eyeball it and or feel it if you can't see it. Pivot it so you get it right. And on if you have this particular trimmer, the corner, I don't know if you can see it just now, but the corner lines up with this line that goes down this orange part. I don't know if you guys can even see what I'm talking about, but right here, the points line up with that ridge in the top of the um, the bar. So that helps a lot in the measuring. So I just remembered that. So I'm looking at that and at and going to do it. So, yeah, see that's perfect. So it lines up with that. But this is a tonic cutter. Okay, so there's my folds. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and do all of the folds before I start the cutting because their little papers will get everywhere. I don't like to get too many pieces of paper everywhere. Kind of a neat freak, but you guys know that already. Okay, so I'm just going to cut the triangles right now. Just cut the triangles and I'm going to put on these there and I'm going to switch these over there. All right. <clears throat> I guess I don't have to bend that now that I've remembered that I discovered this last night and I forgot. There we go. That goes there. This goes here. 
just make sure you get your folds in the right place. And it's not critical, you know, that you get it exactly cut, exactly on the line, because it's going to get trimmed and turned back anyway. So it's not a big deal. I have to use the light to find my fold marks. But you can also mark your cutter if you don't have something already on it that'll mark it for you. You can uh, put a piece of masking tape or something if you want to. One last one. Like so. Okay. Now save these triangles because you can make smaller versions of this pocket from these triangles and use them elsewhere. So I am going to save all of my triangles and stack them up. Put them in the pile. Okay. Now, we are done with this cutter. Put that down. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and cut my points. Alright, so I'm going, oh, there's the bone folder. I'm going to cut across, and remember, I'm leaving about the width of a Timmy ruler, and most of us have those. And then I'm going to go from the score line straight down on these guys. And fold it back and check it. Make sure that you're not sticking out the top. Good. And these are a little hard to see, but that's okay. We're working with it. Okay, so you guys can see how my edges are like going straight down. So they are, let's see, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a math whiz, but uh, perpendicular? Is that the right word I want? Like a square. Right there. Okay. So, <laughs> anyhow. Close enough. You get the idea. And since it's not going to show, they don't have to be perfectly straight. So, because it's going to get folded back. You're not going to see it. But you're trying not to cut off the point of your triangle because it doesn't look so nice if you do. But that's okay. If it works, that's fine. Whatever you can do. If you want to square it off, you can do that too. If you want to paper punch it, give it a give it a lace edge or something, you can do that too. wiggling it so I can see the score lines in the light. It's kind of hard to see them. Okay, now it was in the recycle bin. Okay, so now we're going to put the score tape on. Make sure you've got it the direction you want. And you can do it flat, you don't have to do it when it's folded. Plus, it's just easier for you to see it. You don't have to burnish it right at this second. You can burnish it in a little bit. So we kept most of the butterfly on that one. Yay. All right, let me check on chat here. Hey, Carol. <laughs> we got chat split. Okay, good. Been a while. 
we homeschooled for a while and of course we had geometry and math is not my strongest subject <laughs> so like uh did i remember that right <laughs> Homeschooling was a long time ago. Wish I could do the grandkids, but not happening. We don't all live in the same place anymore, so kind of hard. Hopefully we'll get to see him two of them tomorrow. Everybody's been so busy. I haven't had a whole lot of opportunity for grandkids this summer. I see them more in the winter. Too many outdoor activities going on right now. They'd rather be doing that than crafting with Nanny. <laughs> okay, so now I have all my triangle pockets. Now I need to determine where they're going. Pull my box back over here. Now, it goes on the opposite side of your tension flap. Let's see, I think I want this one to go that way, so I'm going to put that in there. This one can go this way. That'll be perfect for that one. All right, so fold it under, and now remember the half inch. So where's the ruler? Here it is. All right, so put that ruler down here. Line it up on that half inch. All right, now let's see if we can get this. And you want about an eighth of an inch from the bottom. Now I know I said there was no eighth inches, but we're not cutting eighth inches. We're just guessing eight inch an eighth of an inch. Okay. <laughs> we're not cutting it, we're just guessing. Alright, so there's my pocket on that page. Now I'm going to turn it over and put it to the back of the box. I'm trying to keep these in order. My covers are separating all the pages, so I'm going to take them one at a time and put them to the back. This one needs one over here, so here is my the one I wanted to face left because the words go this way. And I think what we're going to do is burnish these down. That'll be a little bit easier to place them that way. All right? Don't forget the half inch. Put that on there. And I know these are some of these are going to be wonky. That's okay. Not brain surgery, we're just doing a book, turning around. Okay, this one's gonna go here. So let's see, what color do I need? Solid green, that one looks nice. We'll do this one, unless the pink one looks better. No, too busy. This one's better. All right, so I'm gonna burnish these down. And one thing I learned from Kathy Orta one among many things I've learned from Kathy Orta, is when you burnish down um, a small fold, turn it over so that the fold, the small fold, is on the table. It's less likely to go wonky if you do that. And it's so true. It's so true. Don't know why it works, but it does. Get these tools out of the way. All right. Now, ruler, <laughs> keep losing it. Remember the gutter or the binding, half an inch. And stick it down. Okay, if it's a little wonky, that's okay. It's not going to matter. All right, turn it through the binding that way, put it to the back. Next. This one goes on the left, so we're going to use this one. We're going to burnish. And we're going to burnish one side, and then we're going to burnish the other side because I left that a little bit long. There we go. 
now. I love score tape. I love score tape. <laughs> Coming along, coming along. Alright, so I'm gonna move one over here. Maybe, maybe not that one. Oh, let's use the butterfly. Yeah, let's use this one. Oh, no, actually, this one needs to go this way. Never mind. This one will work. Somebody is definitely having engine trouble outside. They can't seem to get their vehicle started, and I think they're parked in front of my house because <laughs> they're awfully loud. They keep trying to start the engine and it won't stay started. So it goes ring, ring. You know how that goes. Really kind of annoying. But my house has trees out front, so they get in the shade. And I won't begrudge in the shade because it's probably 100 and something degrees outside. So I'm getting there. As long as it doesn't bother you guys, we're good. This one goes here. That one has to go. Oh, that's right. That one has to go that way. There, I'll lose this one. This was kind of plain. I think I'm going to do some embellishments on that side for sure. Now, like I said, I didn't get any other embellishments out other than the paper because I didn't know how far I was going to get. And I'm probably not going to get to do the embellishing on camera because it's getting close to 12 already. Everybody good? Um... I don't have a set. You can use rings, Tanya, to bind. Um, let me see. Yeah, you can use rings. You can do. You can do. Uh, probably stitch it if you want to. But I would suggest rings if you don't have a machine. All right there's that one. This one goes here. And let's see which one we want to do. Yeah, let's do this one. And there again, I forgot to ink the edges before sticking the pockets down. See? To all of the inking before sticking. Oh dear. Okay. That's okay. We will. Um, maybe I'll use a brush. I have one of those brushes. Maybe I'll do the brush. And I'll show you guys that. It's an old tool. <laughs> Before the Timmy sponges. It's a brush. I've got a whole set of those things. Okay, so that's done. This one goes on the inside. We're going to do this one because it has to go left. Guess they haven't got that car started yet. Oh man. Maybe it overheated. A lot of that going on. Now this one you can really see the placement. See I've got the half inch over here and then I've just barely got an eighth of an inch down here just so there's a nice little border. Okay. Alright. Two more. This one goes on the inside. We're going to do this one. Try 
try not to overthink, just do. But yet paying attention to the border. Moving my ruler. <laughs> really don't want to go through that again. It was 2 a.m., I must say. But I was singing to the music. I was just moving right along. <laughs> not really paying attention. Oh, wait, don't stick yet. Hold on. Don't stick. Wait. That's too crooked. All right. Let's see if that's going to stay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. One more. Oops, wrong way. Goes on the inside, and this is left perfect. That worked out well. <laughs> and I may decide to do rings on this one after all. I would start with three rings and then see if I needed five. Okay, there. All the triangle pockets are in place. So let's take it out of there and kind of bow put it together. Okay, so here's the book. Now we're going to look at it out the binding because I really have to go <laughs> in a minute and eat. Sorry about the split chat, guys. Oh, okay. So we're going to look at the book. All right. Open it up. Make sure I'm in the camera. Okay. So this one would flip and open this way. Card there, card there. Card in those two pockets. This one would open this way. Card there, card there. Card there, card here, flip it, this would open, card there, card here and here. This one opens this way, card there and there. Card there. Open that one, they both open, so that would open this way. This one would open this way. This one would flip, and then they would both open, so, like so. Flip, open, open, and close. There's the end. Okay, so there's the book. <laughs> the faux binding. Yeah, I may decide to go ahead and it's rather thick at the bottom. See, I may decide to go ahead and use rings. Uh, I think I'm going to start with three rings and I might use five. That depends on how stable it is. If it like goes, you know, wonky, like too much like this, I'll use five rings. We'll see how it turns out. And then, of course, there's all the embellishment I need to do. Um, I've got pick embellishments and all that, but I've got lots of butterflies and whatnot. Lots of stickers and things to use. So this paper is just gorgeous. Love it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the project. Um, it's really pretty easy. And in two hours, I've got it to this point. Um, just needs holes and embellishing. And we are good. I've got flowers and stuff to go on the front. And I think my mom's really going to like to have a nice place to put her postcards where she can have access to them without any little uh, plastic pockets and whatnot, like she was going to do. <laughs> so I think she will like the Butterfly Garden book. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Yes, there is a triangle pocket on each page. Yes, there is. Most definitely. Let me bring the other one back over here. There. See, this is the mistake. This is where I forgot to move it over. And it ended up in the binding, and that's why my rings went wrong. So, this paper is the Life's Journey from K & Company. This has been around for a while, but they're still they're still uh, printing it. And um, 
I have two pads of it, and I got them both at Hobby Lobby <laughs> with coupons. Yay! So we are good. That's why I'm having trouble with these rings because uh, I there's too much cardstock, you know, too much paper in the the binding. So don't forget, move out of the binding. Move over that half inch. Don't forget. Oh, the eight. That's right. The eight by eight and the six by six. I forgot about the measurements. Oh, sorry. Okay, let me give them to you real quick. Okay, the eight by eight. All right. You fold in half, of course, at four. Your folding up is two and a half. Okay, two and a half. Let me see if I, well, I can't input it because then you won't both get it. Okay, here, let me, let me grab something here. Here's a piece of, piece of board. I can write it on here for you. If I can find my Sharpie, there it is. All right. Okay, the eight by eight. Okay, the score at two and a half. Okay, so you fold it in half. Yes, score at two and a half. Your other measurement is one inch. So one inch at the edges for the diagonal. Okay? So one inch and the center, right? One inch right there, one inch right there, folding up folding up. There's your pocket. Finished pocket measures five and a half by four. That's the eight by eight. Okay, you could do a smaller book. Now, this one, the six by six, let me see what I've done here. I've done looks like one and a quarter. For some reason I did a deeper pocket. I don't know. So, whoops. Six by six. Score at, let me see what was my score, two inches. Score at two inches. And then for some reason I did a deeper pocket. You could do one inch or you could do the one and a quarter inch. Uh, for the diagonal mark. Okay? Yeah, that's tiny. Yeah, but it holds an ATC, see? <laughs> it holds an ATC. So here's an ATC in progress. And it'll hold ATC. It'll hold three ATCs. If you do, you put your decorative tape, your washi tape on the bottom. That would make the inside fold a pocket in itself, and then it's held shut by your binding. See how the, the punch is there? See, I've already punched it. Well, I don't know if you can see it or not, actually. Yeah, I've already punched it, see. No, I did not make the extra pockets and tension pockets on this one, no, because it's going to hold ATCs. So I did not put extra pockets. Um, since it doesn't, it's all it's all going to fold one way. It doesn't need the extra pockets. Um, depending on what you would use the eight by eight for, yes, you could. You could do the same thing that we did on the twelve by twelve to the eight by eight. You could also do it to the six by six, but I I don't know why you would, but. You could do the same thing, yeah. So you could do, you know, you could fold in your tension on one side and have it bound on one side, the same way we did the 12 by 12. Same way. <laughs> okay, everybody in the regular chat says, say goodbye to the people in the ice chat. <laughs> yes, that would be a cool add-on. You're right, Eileen. Eileen says the little pocket would be a cool add-on. To, to a bigger album. So yeah, <laughs> that would be would be really cute. And you could even have it as a fold out. That would be really cute. Have smaller pictures. Yeah. 
very, very cute. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I need to go eat lunch. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll probably work on this. I need to gather some, some embellishments and some play toys to put in it. Um, and I guess I'll get out the big bite and make holes. I think I am going to do the rings. I just decided I'm going to do the rings instead of the wire. I don't have the wire, and it's it's so thick and it's nice, and the rings will be, you know, yeah, I'll do the rings. I think I have some colored ones. Oh, I think I have red ones. I think that would work. Okay. All right. So um, goodbye, everybody, in both chats. Um, <laughs> I will see you guys later. <laughs> have any questions, you can... Um, well, you can't email me, but you can Twitter me or, you know, catch me in somebody's chat or something. All right. Let's hope this is the end of the chat split. I hate these things. Okay. Bye, guys. Thanks for coming. <laughs>